Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate a frequency table or even a cross table of a variable that used to have multiple answers with SPSS. Now, if you have a question with multiple answers, most often each of the options in itself becomes a variable. So, in this case, uh, I've asked people which uh, cinema they visited in the past year. Uh, the options they could choose from were the Munt, the Movies, Tushinsky and Arena. So each of these, as you can see, has become its own variable with the values either visited or uh, not visited or visited. It's important to remember this for later on. Then, to let SPSS know that these questions actually were one larger question, go for Analyze, Multiple Response, Define Variable Sets. Select the variables that form the set, in this case that's these four. And then add dichotomies, counted value, enter the value that you're interested in, and I'm interested in those that did visit the cinema, so that was coded as 1. Give it a name, in this case uh, visited for example. Same rule apply as for any variable name, so it cannot start with a number and no spaces allowed. At the label you can use those, so visited cinemas, for example, would be a nice label. Click on add and click on close. Now nothing really happened yet, although if you click on analyze again, multiple response, then the frequencies and the cross steps have become available. If you click on frequencies, there's one set in here, so I'll move that one to tables 4. Click on OK and you get your multiple response output. These percentages indicate that 36% of the people visited the movies. Now these don't add up to 100% because people could select more than one. And in this case they actually did because I have 225 responses while only 125 valid cases. If you report these kind of percentages, please add a small note so uh, why they don't add up to 100%. Otherwise you might get some people questioning about that. If you want a cross table, that's also possible. Uh, go for analyze, multiple response again, and then cross steps. The I hit a reset. The multiple response set is at the bottom half. Um, let's move that to the rows, and perhaps I want to cross it with a gender. Can I move that to the columns? I then have to define the ranges for the columns. Um, in this case, if I'm not mistaken, it was labeled as 0 for female and 1 for male, so 0 till 1. Click on continue. If you also want percentages, click on options, and then you can select the type of percentages that you want. Because I put an independent variable in the columns, I like also the column percentages. It should be based on the cases, not the responses. Click on continue and click on OK and you now get the cross table from the multiple response set. This way of creating multiple response sets, unfortunately if you close the file, the multiple response set will be gone and when you reopen it you will have to redo uh, creating the multiple response set. There is another method where you actually uh, keep the multiple response set, but as discussed in another video.